All right, here he is. <laughs> Wait, no. So let's keep it real because I know you like to tell the truth. You've been to jail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you beat people up? Well, yeah. <laughs> what Somebody happened? was trying to beat me up. Tell me what happened. <laughs> um, What really happened is I used to get bullied when I was in school. And uh, we almost told her name. Her name is always on the tip of my tongue. I remember that bully. Let me tell you. But she was going to get me. And, you know, when you're a kid in school and you hear the whispers of, you know, she want to beat you up. She want to fight you. you like, why? You know what I mean? It's, it's even more scary because you don't really know when it's going to happen. Right, or right, if anybody's right. going to help you or even stop it. You know what I mean? Right. And I was one of those kids that was like, Whatever I had, I would share with you. And if I didn't have enough, I'd bring you some the next day. So I was so accommodating and nice. And I just couldn't understand why she didn't like me, you know. And sure enough, one morning uh, at school, that morning dude was on the grass. She got ready to tackle me. And honey, she fell on that morning grass. And when I tell you when she fell, that's when I got her. And, you know, a scared person can get you just by default, you know what I mean? Right, right, and right. I, I got her, you know what I mean? And the whole school, it went through the whole school that she did not beat me up. Cause when you end up beating up the bully in the school, now you become the one that's like, way she got her. You know what I mean? And it happened again to me in high school. You know, this young lady felt that I was befriending her boyfriend and she was older than me. I was a freshman. She was a senior and her boyfriend's, um, Sister was my my best friend, so I would be over there all the time. I don't know. I guess she felt like he was looking at me, and maybe perhaps I was looking at him as an older guy, but I wasn't a fast girl or anything, you know what I mean? So I wasn't trying to get with him, but she thought so. And she came to my locker, smacked me, and told me to stay away from her man. And when I tell you, you'd have thought nothing happened because it was just like, shock, okay, keep going. You know, <laughs> it was like, act like that didn't happen. And my cousin was a senior. And she was uh, a force to be reckoned with. And she came up to me and she said that her name was Tina. I'll, I'll let you know that. Okay. She said, did Tina smack you? I said, yeah, she did. She said, what did you do? I said, nothing. She said, no, come on. And I was thinking, no, 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 it's okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't want no trouble, you know. <laughs> and she took me to her and she said, you put your hands on her. She said, if you ever put your hands on her, I'm going to have her whoop your ass and then I'm going to whoop your ass. And I was like, yeah, that part. <laughs> like, at least if you're going to be with me, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to go down. So, yeah, you know what I mean? And then I thought then it was like, am I too nice? Am I giving off something that they feel like they can take advantage of me? What is this? Because I don't want this anymore. I don't want this to happen. And I became like, you know, you got to stand up for yourself. You know, and then I st I started standing up for all the bu all the bullies, you know, for all the people that got, got bullied. bullied. Yeah, it was almost like, you know what? Now do that to me. You know what I mean? And so I had that growing up, and then my father was murdered mm. when I um, was in my twenties. Mm. Totally devastated me, and totally turned my life upside down. So then I became a bit of a rebel, and um, I just went on the wrong course. All my friends that was doing anything bad, I think I was attracted to. It was like, you writing checks? I want to write checks, too. Mm. You you got fake, fake ID? I want fake ID, too. You know, and it was just the peer pressure of just wanting to be in, wanting to be accepted, really. And I remember because my father was a, a, a big businessman, prominent businessman in Chicago. So everybody, you know, knew us. And when he passed, um, I remember it was a couple of young ladies that was like, you know, don't say that. You know, her father just passed. And then the girl was like, you know, um, F her father. And it was like, ah. mm -mm. she said, what? Mm -mm. And I ain't gonna never forget. I had on back in the day, the nails would be real long and curved. Mm. I, she waited until I did all 10. You just ate off your nails. And as soon as I bit off that last nail, I commenced to whooping that ass <laughs> for every girl that ever tried to do anything to me. I took it all out on her. 
And I already had power because of who my father was. So I already carried guns. You know, I already, you know, because we owned hotels and motels. My father owned 12. So, you know, I was carrying a gun only because we would take the money to the bank. And some of the hotels were in some rough areas. So it was for protection. But I was told for even if you mess with me, I get you. At least I pistol whoop you or something, you know what I mean, kind of thing. So I kind of grew up with women testing me, and I became the girl that don't let the light skin fool you. Mm. And I'm that even now. I don't act with that much, you know, you know, bulliness or anything in me like I used to. But you damn sure ain't going to fuck with me, that's for sure. Wait, did you ever have to use the gun? I have before. What happened? <laughs> this man tried to snatch my chains. Remember that era back in the day when you used to wear like 15 chains all the way down? And he snatched my chains and ran. And it was like, uh-uh, you're not getting away with mine. So it was like, I was almost like a police woman. Wait a minute. And I got him in the leg. Then he, he fell down and I went to go get my chains. Like, give me my chains. <laughs> It's funny because I feel I feel the tough girl energy in you. Like I hear these stories, I'm like, it's not surprising. As gorgeous and sexy as she is, I feel like she's not to be tested. And if you push her, she will punch you. She will tell you off. She will shoot. Like I I feel that right. And I don't know where that came from because I'm telling you, I have never been a bully. But I'm absolutely for the underdog. Right. Like I am. It's like I do not like people to just be, you know, mean to people for no reason and take advantage of people. I don't like that. I do not like that. And I, I have I've been that way across the board. I don't mess with nobody, but I don't want you messing with me either. I really believe that there's a way that you can come and talk and handle anything. But if you come to me the wrong way with a lot of body language and pointing the finger and all of this. I, I'm not the one. You ain't got to talk to me like that. You ain't got to disrespect me. None of that. I don't take well to that at all. And the older I get, of course, the more mature I am. I handle things differently because now I can walk away. But if you in my personal space, I'll just say I ain't running away. Uh, right. I'll say that part. Right. 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 <laughs> I love you. I love you. You're always in white. Why? Um, I'm not a virgin, but I might be an angel. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that when my father passed, my mom had made such a big deal out of us going to get these black outfits. And over the years, I've tried to think, why white? Why for so long? What is really going on with this white? Because it, I never did it to set myself aside as a trend or anything. Mm. I don't know what really drove and attracted me to just wear white. Because trust me, it's hard. Because white comes in so many different shades. Mm -hmm. Till you put it up and it's like, dang, that don't go together. I tried to make it easy for me so I don't have to pick colors and see what go together. Now, it's even harder. But honestly, nobody does white the way that I do. And I never looked the same. Never. And so I, I would say that it's not a religious thing, but what I've tried to identify with is like maybe because black to me is so dark. Yeah. It's so like cover. I, 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 I can't do black, you know. So when I think about it, it's like, is it attached to my father's death and funeral and that mm. damn suit that I had to wear? And it made me go, I'm going all the way left. I'm wearing white. Mm. You know, what is it? I don't have a ta-da answer. I just feel good in it. It makes me feel crisp and clean. I never get dirty. I'm never, you know, oh, don't put your kid on me. Or oh, I can't go, you know, camping in my white. Or I, it's never that. I, I think one time I got dirty. <laughs> and it was a can of soda I had. And I popped the can and it said, Psh! And it went all over me. <laughs> and literally, I said nothing. I put the can down, went in the room, took them clothes off, and threw everything away. You know <laughs> and that was what it is. Yeah. But I even try to come out of white because I'll buy something that I like. That's bad as hell. and make me go, I'm buying this because I'm going to wear this. And my friends go, you ain't wearing it. Yes, I am because I'm spending my money on this, so I'm going to wear it. It's still in my closet years later. 
So I don't even know when I'm going to come out of white. I have tried to pop out of white every now and then for like Susan G. Coleman, you know, breast cancer sure. month or whatever. I'll try to wear light pink or something. And I'll even try to go into cream a little bit because that's close to white. Mm. You know what I mean? I try mm. to do a little silver, you know what I mean? Because that's close to white. Mm. But that's about it. Mm. I do pops of color. My accessories and jewelry, belts, shirt, boots, and all of that are color. But what touches my body is white. 